Okay, today I'm going to be going over the layout of Adobe After Effects CS5 and I think I also may make one for Adobe Flash and Adobe Premiere Pro. If anyone have anyone has any other requests for Photoshop or Illustrator, just write a message to me. Now I'm just going to be going over the layout of it, so this is for anyone new at it that's never used it before and not knowing where anything is. Now let me start with the taskbar up here. You got file, which you know to make a new project, open project, save, close project, import video, export video. Then you got edit, which does um, the undo, the cut, copy, paste, all that stuff. And here's composition. Composition is going to be um, where you make everything off of. So I'll click on new comp. Here's the composition. You could do preset to whatever camera you have. Um, width, height, frame rate. Say you have a camera that has 60 frames per second. There's 60 frames. Resolution, duration. Say it's a five second clip then put in five seconds highlight that and do five now this is over here is milliseconds then seconds minutes then hours now and also the color of the background now this is mainly making effects not really final editing no it's not for final editing it's for making effects and then you'd put it once you export it you'd put it into some kind of final um, editing program like Premiere Pro. Now this is one way to make a comp. Click OK and then there it is. And you know I could do like next is layer so I'll show layer. You could do a new layer, text, solid, light, camera, any of these. I'll just do text. Then I could do my title right there and that's layer I can make a mask for it uh, quality layer styles show wall this is a good thing right here I use this a lot click on this kinda of like this right here is kinda of like what you'd find in Photoshop it has blending options drop shadow gradient <coughs> although if you click down on the gradient edit you can really do anything with it make it however you want but yeah that's that I'm gonna X off of that whoops I'm just gonna erase that now and get rid of that. Now there's another way to make a another composition which I'll show you in a second. Here's effects which you can do many stuff with here unless if you have optical flares or twitch effect you won't have video copilot. But I highly recommend you get that. Then here's animation. I really didn't never got into any of this stuff. Um view window to show all the stuff here the help bar and also now let me just show you this right over here here's workspace standard or you could um whatever kind of workspace you like like there's effects paint animation but I like standard standards good shows everything I need so now after I showed you that let me go to file and I'm gonna import a file. I'm just gonna import the Microsoft uh, sample video. Click OK. And now it's here. Right here is the project file. This shows you for anything um, for projects. Compositions, videos you put in. So here's this. I'm gonna take this and drag it down here. This will make this into a comp uh, composition instead of doing new comp. And there it is right here. Okay. Now 
that's the project area. Now let me go down to here. This is timeline. Um, this shows you the video, of course. And also, if I were to add new layers, let me just do like a solid layer. See how this is now up top? You can't see anything because this black layer is above it. It's just like um, Photoshop. If I uh, bring this layer down, you'll be able to see it. Or if I take this layer and change the opacity, you go, you'll be able to see it. Now, I can take a layer and put maybe a text over it. And then I'll be there the whole entire time. Or I could make it, if you, you could actually drag this and make the length of this however long you want it. Say I want it like four seconds. Then I'll be for the first four seconds. Now, as you see, this is like really laggy, not high quality. That's because it's not rendered. See these little green dots down there? That's what has to be rendered. To render it, if you go up here to preview and click on this, RAM preview, this is rendering the whole entire video. So then whenever you play it back, it will be rendered and it will go at real time, highest quality. And there it is. Now it's rendered, playing good. Title's there. Title goes off. So yeah, that's that. Now let's go over here to um, this paragraph. If I go to my text. I can make the paragraph however I want it. Change the size is up here. This is for the text. Make the size bigger. Make the spacing of the text bigger or smaller. Change the font. So that's all that. Now, one more thing which is effects and presets which is over here. This is just kind of a shortcut instead of going to effects and going through all of this stuff like oh yeah and you can make a new comp and you'd still have this comp say you want to work on like two projects it would be down here like this will be this and then this say I were to make a new layer go to effect and use effects like simulation I use particle world a lot Although, over here, which is the effects controls, you can control this by doing producer, uh, the position will move it and stuff, or the length of it, um, uh, here, particle, change whatever you want the particles to be, um, gravity, if I get rid of gravity, just make it zero. It's kind of floating. And yeah, so effects, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, and I think that's about it. Just going over the main layout of it. 